Second Chronicles 2, verse 1. Solomon determined to build a house for the name of the Lord and a house for his kingdom. Solomon told out threescore and ten thousand men to bear burdens and fourscore thousand to hew in the mountain and three thousand and six hundred to oversee them. And Solomon sent to Huram, the king of Tyre, saying, As thou didst deal with David my father, and didst send him setters to build him a house to dwell therein, even so deal with me. Behold, I build a house to the name of the Lord my God, to dedicate it to him, and to burn before him sweet incense, for the continual showbread, and for the burnt offerings morning and evening on the Sabbaths, and on the new moons, and on the solemn feasts of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance forever to Israel. And the house which I build is great, for great is our God above all gods. But who is able to build him a house, seeing the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain him? Who am I then that I should build him a house, save only to burn sacrifice before him? Send me now therefore a man cunning to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in iron and in purple and crimson and blue and that can skill to grave with the cunning men that are with me in Judah and in Jerusalem, whom David my father did provide. Send me also setter trees, fir trees, and algum trees out of Lebanon, for I know that thy servants can skill to cut timber in Lebanon, and behold, my servants shall be with thy servants. even to prepare me timber in abundance. For the house which I am about to build shall be wonderfully great. And behold, I will give to thy servants the hewers that cut timber, 20,000 measures of beaten wheat, and 20,000 measures of barley, and 20,000 baths of wine, and 20,000 baths of oil. And Hiram king of Tyre answered in writing and she sent to Solomon because the Lord hath loved his people he hath made thee king over him over them Hiram said moreover blessed be the Lord God of Israel that made heaven and earth who hath given to David a wise son, endued with prudence and understanding, that might build a house for the Lord and a house for his kingdom. And now I have sent a cunning man, endued with understanding, of Huram, my father's, the son of a woman of the daughters of Dan, and his father was a man of tears, skillful to work in gold, and in silver, in brass, in iron, in stone, and in timber, in purple, in blue, and in fine linen, and in crimson. Also to grave any manner of graving, and to find out every device which shall be put to him, with thy cunning men, and with the cunning men of my lord David, thy father. Now therefore the wheat, and the barley, the oil, and the wine, which my lord hath spoken of, let him send unto his servants. And we will cut wood out of Lebanon, as much as thou shall need, and we will bring it to thee, and floats by sea to Joppa, and thou shalt carry it up to Jerusalem. And Solomon numbered all the strangers that were in the land of Israel, after the numbering wherewith David his father had numbered them. And they were found a hundred and fifty thousand, and three thousand, and six hundred. And he set threescore and ten thousand of them to be bearers of burdens, and fourscore thousand to be hewers in the mountain, and three thousand and six hundred overseers to set the people a work. Second Chronicles 3, verse 1. Then Solomon began to build the house of the Lord at Jerusalem in Mount Moriah, where the Lord appeared unto David his father, in the place that David had prepared in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And he began to build in the second day of the second month, in the fourth year of his reign, 
Now these are the things wherein Solomon was instructed for the building of the house of David. The length by cubits after the first measure was threescore cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits. In the porch that was in the front of the house, the length of it was according to the breadth of the house, twenty cubits, and the height was a hundred and twenty. And he overlaid it within with pure gold. In the greater house he sealed with fir tree, which he overlaid with fine gold, and set thereon palm trees and chains. And he garnished the house with precious stones for beauty, and the gold was gold of Parvaim. He overlaid also the house, the beams, the posts, and the walls thereof, and the doors thereof with gold, and graved cherubims on the walls. And he made the most holy house, the length whereof was according to the breadth of the house, twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof twenty cubits, and he overlaid it with fine gold, amounting to six hundred talents. And the weight of the nails was fifty shekels of gold, and he overlaid the upper chambers with gold. And in the most holy house he made two cherubims of image work, and overlaid them with gold. And the wings of the cherubims were twenty cubits long. One wing of the, ch of the one cherub was five cubits, reaching to the wall of the house. And the other wing was likewise five cubits, reaching to the wing of the other cherub. And one wing of the other cherub was five cubits, reaching to the wall of the house, and the other wing was five cubits also, joining to the wing of the other cherub. The wings of these cherubims spread themselves forth twenty cubits, and they stood on their feet, and their faces were inward. And he made the veil of blue, and purple, and crimson, and fine linen, and wrought cherubims thereon. Also he made before the house two pillars of thirty and five cubits high, and the chapter that was on top of each of them was five cubits. And he made chains as in the oracle, and put them on the heads of the pillars, and made a hundred pomegranates, and put them on the chains. And he reared up the pillars before the temple, one on the right hand and the other on the left, and called the name of that on the right hand, Jachin, and the name of that on the left, Boaz. 